found someone's place. Oh, this is Mel's place. Sorry. You got in the way of my arrow. Holy shit. Uh, a friend needs to talk to me quickly. I'm gonna continue to be on the server, but I'm gonna be out of the call for a few minutes. Okay. Okay. The bees. Uh, Keegan, where are you? Uh, I'm still at my house. I'm making. Does this nether portal go to your house? That's fine. Uh, yes. Oh, I have to take the nether highway to get back to the other one, right? <laughs> Keenus McHugh. <laughs> uh, can you prove that? I'm gonna need some evidence on this one. The circumcised. <laughs> that is today's item. That. Uh, hello, I'm a doctor. I'm gonna cut off your kid's penis because some people think it looks better. Do you agree? Apparently, it also like prevents or helps prevent urethral infection, but that's that, easily treated with uh, like, pills. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the only upside I see for it. So, the only other proven thing that it it solves is penile cancer, but it's or it reduces the chance. But first of all, penile cancer is extremely rare, and for every one for every one uh, circumcision that prevents it, over six hundred circumcisions go wrong. Is how rare it is. Oh. Yeah. I got shock you. I got circumcised when I was a child. Okay. Uh, ah, ah, okay. Stay in the matter. Yeah, sadly. And it's brought problems upon me. <laughs> but anyway, the reason it reduces penile cancer is because you're reducing the amount of cells that could become cancerous. Makes logical sense. So it's basically like saying, let's remove part of the brain be to, s to lower the chance of brain cancer. Where, <laughs> yes, that's true, but is that really a good option? It's just like, hey, if yes, there's no is. brain, there's no cancer. <laughs> if there's no brain, you can't get if cancer we, there. If we remove the wrinkles in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, didn't, didn't we do that last episode? <laughs> Oh, like, that's what my whole basis on this was. I was <laughs> vaguely making circumcision jokes. Oh, I had no idea that's what you were going for. <laughs> I'm going to cut all of this out. Who want, You want to know why uh, circumcision was popularized in the U.S.? Yeah, sure. So, you know Kellogg's? <laughs> you know the Kellogg's, the cereal company? Yeah. So the creator of that heavily endorsed it, uh, circumcision, in both males and females, and ways he wanted it to be done was with, like, chemicals and stuff and burning it off. <laughs> to leak the burning it off? Wow. Yeah, he uses it, I can't remember exactly, the chemicals that would burn the skin. How does female, how does that work on girls? <laughs> so, there's different kinds, or circumcision really just general, is generalized to anything, any alteration to the genitalia. Mm -hmm. kinda. kinda that's probably why that's not, not really a correct thing but also why not cut whatever. so basically the main form of female circumcision is cutting the clit off gotcha I think if Amy Schumer had her clit cut off she'd make jokes and it has and an, basically it's <laughs> it's reasons to why it <laughs> Jacob's no, that's a piercing. Why? Why did you call it a circumcisy? <laughs> Me? Wizzy? No, no, no. Is it circumcisy? It's the uwu -oo version. Please give me circumcision. <laughs> I'm really glad this is getting cut out. That's a lot better than him now. <laughs> so anyway, now that we're off the physical uh, reasons why it's bad, how 
shall we go to economic reasons or should we go into mental? Mental. Mental. Okay. Uh, why not both? So, why not? Well, we'll get to both. I'm just asking which one first. Why not both at the same time? Because they don't they're... correlate. Because I'd be doing two conversations at once. So, mental, mental uh, consequences of this. So what most people say oh, is, oh, the baby's too young to remember. Now, this is true, but also not. The baby is too... This is uh, Oh. So it's, uh... So it's true in the state of when you're that young, you don't have a direct memory of thinking of like, it's like seeing it and everything like that. I want to, but you still remember it in the way of the pain you feel because that is the most sen sensitive external part of the body with over 8,000 nerve endings in it that all get cut <laughs> at once. And this. And it leaves it? a mental scar on the child that makes the body more sensitive to pain and I want to touching what's there. Uh, later in life. Uh, good to know. Uh, we're now, As a before, we get, a, before, we, before we get on to the economic parts, do you want to learn how circumcision is done? Sure. I mean, I've, I've already gone through it when I was really young, but... So the yeah, I can't remember I can't remember the name of the device, but they have this little device. Oh, okay. Actually, first they bring the baby into this specialized room with soundproofing, soundproof walls, and everything, which we'll come to later. They strap the baby right. down. The device, the cock and ball and torture machine. We strap they strap <laughs> the baby down onto a thing so it can't move. They then take this device that I can't remember the name of it, that basically crushes the foreskin, killing it. And they leave it there. No anesthetics for the baby, because babies uh, can't have anesthetics. <laughs> they leave the baby for the few minutes as it crushes the foreskin. Then they come back and cut it cut it off oh uh, by hand. <laughs> with... Foreskin grinder. And, <laughs> and the baby, uh, unsurprisingly, is screaming in pain, because it's the most sensitive external part of the body, I mean, being cut off and body killed. If got crushed and cut off, you'd be crying. <laughs> uh, and that's why the soundproofing's there, so it doesn't alarm the parents or anybody nearby. Don't worry, we're just crushing your babies. <laughs> <laughs> and they cut it off. Uh, they have to stop the bleeding. There's been maybe many babies who have died from bleeding out because they couldn't stop the bleeding. And then why they... do they do it? <laughs> oh, because because it's because it looks better. <laughs> yeah, my... And uh, so economically, so you may be thinking, what does foreskin and economics have to do with each other? So first of all, procedures at hospitals cost money. Yeah. So of course, they hey, shut up. I'm not there yet. <laughs> uh, so the doctors get, I think it's like three hundred dollars or something to per a circumcision they cost. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, that was a joke? You didn't actually know? So anyway, <laughs> let's get on to that then, since that I basically finished that part. Hey, okay, so how oh, many people here? The, the, <laughs> the beauty... Shut up, I'm not there yet! So the so anti-aging creams. Anti-aging creams, and a lot of them. Uh, one of the big ones is Oprah's. I can't remember what it's called, but Oprah's does it. Is they buy foreskins to put into the anti-aging creams. They crush up the foreskin and make it into anti-Asian, <laughs> anti yeah. Anti-aging to make you, you look younger. And in America, this it, uh, selling foreskins is worth about $3 billion a year. What? He cries in French. A single foreskin can be worth up to like $10,000. Damn, I wish I kept it. Wow. Are you serious? They took little baby foreskins and then they used that. <laughs> yeah, and this is all because some crazy guy who who believed in eugenics, by the way. This guy believed in eugenics in the 60s, mm -hmm. I believe. So <laughs> that's past the time when eugenics was even popular. And he and people agreed with him. And his reason is because he was an and he was against masturbation because the foreskin is a masturbation tool. I don't know what you're talking about. I can because, and also the foreskin creates natural lube. 
Slack, like, you can also make the. I'm gonna also to help me pleasure myself this whole entire time. Yeah. So it's missing out on the tools. So yeah. So that that's why it hurts. Okay. Cool. Oh, also. Also, uh, it it it, it is an organ, by the way. The foreskin is an organ. Yeah. So the foreskin has the same, like, general makeup of cells as an eyelid. So the head of the penis is supposed to stay moist as always. Yeah, babies are organ donors. Because the parents said so. Yeah, and the if you think about it, they they do this because people say it or I keep in mind that this is mostly an American, Jewish, and Muslim thing. Those three. Anywhere any most other first world country <laughs> Jesus. Most other first world countries don't do this. They think it's bad. Uh, well, I mean, of course they do because yeah. it's anti-Asian. Anti-Asian kiwi. You wouldn't like this. <laughs> uh, um, so we know what kiwi is. <laughs> kiwi is not so. The head of the kiwi's foreskin gets cut off and it's used against him in a creek. <laughs> so, the head of the penis is supposed to stay moist as much as possible pretty much that's what the foreskin's for but when you cut that off and it dries out the nerve endings that you have left in the head actually i can't remember what it's called but it's a process which the nerve endings get really hard and unsensitive so you're not only losing 8,000 nerve endings but the nerve endings you have left are then uh basically not killed but are less useful uh -huh. And so, how so issues that may arise after circumcision that aren't directly some of the, so one of the most common ones that most people have and don't even know is the urethra opening closes because the chemicals in feces and urine that a baby would have in a diaper when they were young ugh, negatively affects it and makes it shrink a little bit and oh. can cause problems there, there's some other things but that's the most common one from like an indirect thing that basically the biggest thing that make parents not want to circumcise their child or basically in America if they don't already know is being shown a video of the procedure is being what Oh, okay. It's basically right. showing a baby getting circumcised. That turns most parents off from doing it. I mean, I wonder why. They crushed the foreskin, the baby's foreskin again. I think. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I confronted my mother about it because it, it got brought up, brought up for some reason. And I said something, but she basically said uh, we did it because it looks like they didn't even believe in in the parts where yeah, like like, like health benefits like that. yeah this actually I can explain those so what it's basically STDs are lower that is based off one study done in Africa where the people who were circumcised didn't even have enough time to let it heal and have sex so of course it, uh, there and there, it's a community that already have STDs high STDs in the first place. So they're not having sex, but they're not getting STDs either, so clearly yeah. the population here is just and, inevitable. You know what this is cool. And so I confronted my mother about it, and she basically said, we did it because it looks better, and no. so you don't have to clean it. It's like, so what, should, should I get rid of my fingernails so I don't have to clean under those? Should I, uh, what a, just, yeah, basic hygiene try and try to remove my teeth so I don't have to brush those <laughs> it's like it's not it's a very flawed statement yeah. <laughs> yeah, well we thought you might like it better if you didn't have to clean your dick every day so remember to wash it if you have it and I one problem pain and suffering and uh so Oh, where, what was I at? So we were at cleaning it. 
cleaning, yeah. so I was... Oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's that's okay. Was so, it's about. <laughs> yeah, he, he missed this entire thing. So within the past, I think like 20 years, circumcision in America has been going down. I think we're at 70% of boys are. 70. So it's going down, so I consider that good. But one issue that is arising is parents don't know how to treat it. Treat what? So that, like how to, like when they're a child, like how to teach them how to clean it and stuff like that. Uh, So what's the issue is the parents are accidentally damaging it and damaging the the child's uh, penis. What? Because they haven't been taught. Chris, you've missed most of it, but we're talking about circumcision. Oh, okay. Most of this will be cut out anyways. Will it but, uh... Mostly be today's item. <laughs> not on my video. <laughs> but, uh... So, they don't know how, so... Like, one thing is the foreskin is not s- supposed to retract until usually puberty. Uh-huh. But most parents try to force it and peel it back, but the foreskin... Peel until it back. puberty is fused to the head of the penis. Actually, that's another thing with circumcision. Is that the that the it is fused together? So they also have to cut around there too. Uh, uh God, you're making me wince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a fun topic. No, it's not. It's and not actually, topic. in 1990 something, I believe, in America. Uh, the female circumcision was banned because it was considered a violation of human rights to alter the female genitalia. Mm, yes, yes, of course. But they didn't do anything for the males. Where well, it's pretty males, similar with what males, you're doing. Males don't have human rights. Yeah, rights. So, uh, as I was saying, it's fused together, so parents try to clean it from, uh, they try to pull it back and clean it, but what they're doing is they're forcing it to unfuse and they're ripping it because they weren't taught how to clean it. Because, like, from my health class in school, they basically, for circumcision, says you should get circumcised and stuff. I'm, I basically, at this point in time, I didn't know all of this about circumcision, but I knew a little bit knowing, like, it's not how very good, most of it's lies. I basically pointed that small amount Oh, and he's like, no, it's just a cosmetic change. It's fine. A cosmetic change? Cosmetic change. Yeah, so, yeah, one people, so, also people who realize that maybe the STD stuff isn't true, they believe in that it's just a cosmetic change. But the problem with that is you have parents, a sexual cosmetic change to a baby. And that's... Altering a baby right. in su- such a way that's non-medically needed, I, I just, in any, <laughs> like, like, ear, pier- ear pier- piercings on a baby I don't think should be done, because that can have negative consequences as well. Not as much as like, circumcision, but can still damn. have issues. Damn, in 20 years, they're going to be all over this boy. <laughs> <laughs> they're just future planning. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, they're thinking about this child sexually and their sexual life in this way. Aren't they? Just make our baby. They're, they're saying, because usually what they say is, oh, he's going to be popular with the ba- with the girls and stuff like that. <laughs> he's going to be popular with the babies. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be. I think I was trying to say babes, but then I kind of messed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was the cutting for? Um... <laughs> what was that? Motherfuckers took my foreskin. I can't do docking. You can take my foreskin, but you can't take my freedom. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty much it. All right. Good. Are we gonna do the end now? Are we gonna spawn? <laughs> is that why you guys? Is that why you guys are here? Well, we were waiting for Chris, and then we got on the talk topic of circumcision.